Hi guys, this is Annie. I hope you all are doing great tonight. And tonight I am coming out with my Christmas manicures for you. So this is the first one. And this one I am calling my Christmas candy mani. So stick around and let's get started. And these are the items we'll be using in tonight's video. I'll go through them very, very quickly, but they will also be listed in details in the description box below. So starting from my right, I have my roller tape brush, some acetone to clean up that stamping plate and around the fingers when we're done with the manicure, cotton on my cotton claw, a cleanup brush, the nail polishes we'll be using in the color of white, red, and silver, my two stamping plates, my scraper, my stamper, and also my top coat. So now that we have everything ready, let's begin. Okay, so I have already gone ahead and prepped my nails and applied my base colors. And tonight I used three different colors, which is the silver, the red, and the white, as you saw. And you can use any basic white. I use my paparazzi white. If anybody's interested, this is called Icing on the Cake by Paparazzi. And then for the stamping as well as base colors as well, I am using my clean color nail lacquers. The red one is number 76, it's called Jewel Red. And the silver one we'll be using is number seven, which is called Pearl Silver. And again, both of these are very good stamping polishes as well. So that's what we're gonna stamp with tonight. And as you could see, basically what I did is I polished some of those nails in red, some in silver and some in white. This is the way I wanted to do it, but you can go ahead and change up the base colors. But these are the, the colors that I'll be using tonight. So I did one silver, one white, and then the red. And I choose the silver and the white just to break things up a little. So. Let's get stamping. The first one we're gonna do is the candy cane lines, which is this one here. And we'll be doing that on the index finger and the ring finger nail tonight. And again, we're just using the basic clean color nail lacquer that I also use for the base coat. Now, just to let you know, these nail polishes are very, very highly pigmented and they may stain your stamper. It actually stained my clear stamper just a tiny bit. Um, but I'm still going to keep using it because I really need to line these up very, very well. So let's go ahead and get a nice scrape. And if you're good with brushes, this is going to be a really easy manicure for you. As you know, I am not good with painting stuff on. That's why I like to nail stamp. It's my easy cheat sheet, so to speak. So we have to apply a generous amount on there to fill those lines up. And I'm actually scraping in the direction of the lines to fill it very well. And I'm going to line this up for myself to see it first. There it is. As you can see, it's nice and clear. I'm going to line these up for myself to see it first. And then I'll show you on camera. So I'm actually pressing down. But there it is. Nice, clean, straight lines. And then I'm just going to roll it onto the nail. And that's the first one that's done. That one was lifted. I'm just going to press it down in the same direction. So that's done. And let's do the same for the ring nail there. Now, the one thing I forgot to mention is after applying my base color, I actually went in and apply a layer of top coat. And the reason for that is because the red pigments on this color are so so pigmented that when I stamped the silver on these nails the red just bled through it so it actually turned into like a light pink so I had to go back and, and redo it again so I realized that the best thing to do is apply a base coat if you're using the clean color product if you're using you know regular stamping polishes I really don't know if it's gonna come through as it did with this, but for this particular clean color red, I actually went ahead and did a layer of the clear coat before I started stamping. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's just something to keep in mind if you decide to use the clean color product. And let's go ahead and stamp the silver nail now. Let me just wipe off the excess nail polish remover. 
and again be very generous fill those lines up you don't want to have part of the image and then have to do it over again so that's why I'm being very very generous with this there it is and again let me see if I can line it up well here first and then I'll show you again and there it is I'm just rolling it on and that's that so those two are done those are my candy cane stripes and as you can see I'm also using the liquid latex tonight just to help with the cleanup at the end and this plate is finished so we'll go on to the next plate let me just clean this up really quick and we'll go on to the next plate and then we have this plate here which is a new plate I just picked up on AliExpress it's MR two and this one has some great designs on it the ones we'll be using tonight are these this one with the lollipops and this one with the delicate little flower here so let's start with the lollipops and again I'm using my clean color lacquer this is the silver on it the same silver that I did the base coat over here with and these policies are great for stamping so if you don't want to spend a lot of money on stamping polishes you can pick some of these up they work really well there they are and this goes on the thumb and the pinky so I'll do it on the pinky first because I want to get that lollipop in there there it is I'm rolling it on and there it is and let's do the same for the thumb I'm just gonna go in and wipe around it and press that image down clean my stamping plate and let's move on to the thumb I usually like to clean my stamping plate in between every swipe because sometimes the nail polishes get stuck in the image and when you go over it again without cleaning it you don't get a clean pickup when you scrape on your second time around so that's why I like to clean that between every stamping there it is and we go in on the thumb now This one is the lollipops and candy. And then I'll press down the images to the side. And that's done. And we have the last but not least, the middle fingernail. And like I said, for that one, we're just going to do a delicate little flower to the side. Just to break things up and have them not look too busy. And for that image, I'm going to use this little guy here. And I'm still going to keep using it in silver. There it is. And I'm going to line this up off to the side. Which is going to be... Let me just double check on this. So this one is actually going to be on the inside of the nail. Yep, the inside of the nail. I have to double check before I mess it up. And I'll just line it up off to the side and gently press down. And there that is. So the next thing we'll do is clean up. Let me get rid of this stuff and I'll be right back. Alright, so now that we are done with the nail stamping, we can go ahead and clean up. So I use liquid latex just to help with the cleanup around the nails. So I'm just going to peel those off really quickly. And this stuff really helps, this sort of peel. So it goes with the, you know, cleaning up as far as using the acetone on your nails all the time to clean up. That's why I resorted to using that again. I have used the acetone a couple of times and my cuticles are really damaged from it. So I'm trying to lay off using the acetone if I can. 
and I recommend the same but um you know if, if it doesn't bother you if it doesn't bother your kids goals you know go ahead and do what you usually do and it looks like I'm not gonna have to use the brush and the acetone tonight because the latex here really did a good job just taking out the excess that's unwanted with my little tweezer here as you could see And yay, we don't need to use the acetone in the brush, so I don't need this tonight, guys, which is great. So now the next thing we can do is go ahead and top coat over it. And I am using my favorite. You can use your favorite as well. This is my fast drying top coat. And I always say it, but I'll say it again for those of you who's watching my video for the first time. Whenever you are top coating your nails after nail stamping you do not want to swipe over the same area twice because you will drag the image and ruin it and also you cap the tips off your nails I'll show you what I mean by that but cap the tips off your nails be very very generous with your top coat make a nice thick layer if you could see my brush here, it's nice and loaded it's almost almost want to drip down there but that's what I do that prevents me from pressing too hard and also from dragging the image so get a nice loaded brush like I have and do not go over the same area twice and cap your nails this is what I mean by capping the nails and I like to cap my nails because they usually help in preventing chipping and wear and tear from the tips go up so that's why I do that all the time but again be very generous with the polish do not swipe twice over the same spot and cap your nails so let's continue to do that and like I said for this particular manicure I use the clean color nail polish and it bled right through when I did the nail stamping so if you have the clean color polish and you are going to use that after you put your base coat before you use the dark color which was the red go ahead and apply a top coat to that base color so it doesn't bleed through and run because it actually changed my silver into pink in the other hand before and I had to do the entire thing over because I didn't realize that the pigments were very very strong in those polishes it guys so here we have my first Christmas Manny to you this one is my Christmas candy Manny so I do hope you guys enjoyed this video tonight and if you have any question please feel free to write to me I will answer them as best as I can and as fast as I can and don't forget to subscribe for my upcoming newest videos as well thanks for watching everyone and have a good night now bye bye